Hello everybody, welcome back. This is GM Grant once again. This is going to be episode 3, maybe episode 2.5, depending on how you want to look at it. I know last episode I told you we were going to try to sim up to the opening game, um, see how everything went, but then the Scream of Death showed up. <sighs> yes, the uh, the Scream of Death. Um, that's what I'm calling it right now. I don't like the screen at all. Um, if the developer is watching or, you know, uh, comes across this at any point, I this this screen needs work. It it pops up out of nowhere. Um, it is a, where you select who deserves a scholarship. There's not much information on that. If I leave them as a walk-on, like James Tenordi, um, who is supposed to be our four-star starting quarterback, is labeled as a walk-on. So I don't know if he's been paying his way through school at this point. He's totally fine to be a starting quarterback at a you know decent-sized school as a walk-on. I, I don't know if if I leave him as a walk-on, does does he stay or you know I don't know. Um, I, I don't like that at all. You know, there's not that much information, and I, I'm scared to lose James because he's supposed to be starting for us, but do I want to give him a scholarship in his last year? I, I don't know the dynamics of this right now. I'm, I'm sure we will learn. <sighs> so, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm, I just I, I don't like this screen. Mainly because, too, like if, if we hadn't done our roster overview... Um, this pops in like four or five days into the sim. If you're just simming through, you know, at the very start and you haven't looked at your roster, you won't know who any of these people are. Is James Tenorti any good? I don't know. Um, I can click on him. Nothing happens. I can't see. There's no ratings or stats, you know, like past stats or or ratings or games played for the school, star rating, nothing. There's, there's, they're just names. And when you have 100 names that are randomly generated, um into the game, it's 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 meaningless information, but you're supposed to be setting their status for the future on your team. Uh, it needs work. Again, version 0.6.1, it is an open beta. It does need work. This screen, I think if you're going to fix anything in the near future, it should be this screen. Um, at least give us a star rating. Um, so I can, you know, walk on all the half star scrubs or one star scrubs and move on if, if, if it's as simple as that. So I know that, you know, preferred walk on maybe. I don't know. I'm going to give James a scholarship. He's our starting quarterback this year. He's a senior. I'm just going to give him a scholarship. Some of these people like I we looked at our roster. I don't know if any of these people are good. Was was Gary Cal Calzaretta, one of those five star wide receivers we have playing out his final year or is he you know a bench warmer like rudy who's you know never seen the field i don't know and i don't like that i know steve Berger's good we'll, we'll give him a scholarship i mean these people are gonna be gone next year anyway so if they burn a scholarship spot i'm not that worried about it but it is frustrating because i don't want to screw up something for the future just because i don't know who these people are and i don't know if in the previous screen, I missed something. I know that these players are all tagged as walk-on, preferred walk-on, or scholarship, but I don't know the implications of that, and, and I don't like building a team in the dark. Like, Ryan Velador, freshman, we gave him a scholarship, obviously, when he committed to the school, but I don't know if he's any good. I know we had the Joey Leach is the guy that we want to be building around for the future because I like his mentals and his intangibles. So let's see where he's at. He's a preferred walk-on. See, like I'd rather give him a scholarship because I know we, we, I know who he is. I know we want to build around him. And then uh, Velador, I'd rather get preferred walk-on. But I mean, I don't want to get too much into like a uh, reality thing for the video game. But if like, if we had given him a scholarship as a freshman um, in real life, and then we took it away from him, like you're gonna have a lot of pissed off people. I, I know that that's not the case here, but like I just, I don't know. And then we have four punters on scholarship. Like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing? Let's give you preferred walk-on. Uh, we'll give you preferred walk-on. Uh, the Freeberry, I know we wanted to keep him. He's already got a scholarship. And then Crawford, I believe, was our starter. But again, I can't even see the depth chart. Maybe just a button to show me the depth chart 
something. I, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I just, I wasn't going to, I was going to try to skip this part for you guys, but it popped up, and I figured, why not? Uh, so let's just scan through here. Stan Aquino, we want to give him a scholarship. He's our four-star red shirt that we want to build around. Let's see. Where was, um, where's our free safety? Charlie Jerry, where's he at? We want to make sure he's got a scholarship. The guy is awesome. Here we go. So he's a preferred walk-on. I'm going to give you a scholarship because you know, I love your intangibles. I think you're going to be a part of our story, Charlie, Mr. Jerry. Um, again, I don't want to fiddle with this too much. The team seems to not be imploding with the way it is set up currently. I feel like I just want to maybe just click done to see how it is. Uh, minus the people that we targeted as we know that we that we want them to be here in the future. I don't know if they'll walk away if they don't get a scholarship. I, I honestly don't know for, for, you know, for the last time. I don't know. So that's kind of that. I told you I called it the screen of death in an earlier video. This is what I was talking about. Um, like all of our corners are apparently walk-ons. We have two scholarship corners, you know, three scholarship corners. Like, why? I'm not sure. <sighs> I The only way I can see if you want to actually feel comfortable with this is, you know, take a screenshot of your depth chart, maybe? I don't know. I, at this point, I'm just going to click done, and um, hopefully nothing terrible happens. Uh, and then I'm going to sim to the next event, see what happens here. Again, sorry, this episode might be a little short. I just wanted to show you that screen. Um, if you are following along with me or have decided to try the game out yourself, it is going to jump out at you. It is going to be extremely frustrating. Um, you are going to look at it in confusion and dismay like I did the first couple times. I still don't like it. I feel like I'm shooting blind. But that's the last that I'm going to say about it. I'm sure the developers have some plans for it. Um, it, it is an early access beta, whatever you want to call it. Um, the game is free and, and for a free game uh, with, with the real world mod that I have installed. It is so far. It, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. I've clipped, clicked sim to the next event. So we're just going to wait here. Just, just a few seconds to see where we go. I, I see we've gotten, uh, some, some emails here. We'll let it go a couple more days. Or not. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. So, we have an injured player. Um, John Barker tore his hamstring. That's unfortunate. Bobby Hemsley uh, strained his hamstring. That's better than torn. So, let's see who John Barker is. Again, another small complaint. Um, there's no hyperlinks. I cannot click on John Barker to see who he is. I actually have to remember who I was looking at. Go back to squad. Sort by name, and this sorts doo -doo -doo. John Barker. So he has a teared hamstring. Um, he's a three-star tight end freshman. So that being said, we're just gonna redshirt him. We'll we'll just redshirt him. We'll we'll give him a medical redshirt, you know. And uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. And then player back in action. Bobby Hemsley's already returned. Oh, it's actually still simming. Oh, okay. I thought I actually don't know how to stop it from simming now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought that looking at your email stopped the sim. So that's actually um that's kind of a cool feature. If if they fleshed it out more, like sim the next game or sim to this, you know, a specific date, but you can still like read your emails as it's simming. Most games, um, I play a lot of FHM and OOTP. If you go to try to read your email during the sim, it stops the sim. So you know that's kind of cool that it has uh, continued to sim as we are reading our email. I do like that. Um, we have simmed to July twenty second. Uh, what was the event that made it stop here? Is there anything? It doesn't look like it. It just stopped on its own. Unless it's just delayed and it wanted to stop the sim. And it didn't. I guess we can go back and uh, peek at our recruits this time. See what's going on. So we still have our five five-star um, recruits that are waiting on 
their decisions. Let's ask for a meeting. Declined your invitation for an official visit. See, that's not good. Uh, what about you? He accepted. So that's good. The Martin Skor Skorupski accepted. Um, let's see, Jerry Dawson accepted. That's good. And then Paul Melville accepted. That is good. Um, Shelton de declined to come um, see the school. That is unfortunate. You know what? We're going to send him a brochure to maybe change his mind. Maybe a postcard from Stillwater. Like, come visit us. So, if you remember, Shelton is um, the number one player in the country. And if you can see here, this is starting to fill out as well. So, if we go to our recruiting board, you can see our watch list over here. People are kind of keeping an eye on. we got some freshmen in high school that we want to watch. And then... Um, some four-star seniors and such, which we are going to mail them all brochures. I really don't know what that does. Um, I'm imagining it as like a postcard. It does cost some money, but this is starting to fill out here. So as you can see, Stanford has offered them a scholarship as well. So I'm going to assume that since he rejected our um, invitation for a meeting to come see the school and meet with us, that he's probably leaning on going to Stanford. Um, I'm not sure. If you look through here, the, the top recruits have started to get offers. UCF <laughs> offered a scholarship to the number one punter in the country. Good for him. Uh, let's see. Washington's got some people. And then, so like... This guy, Scotty Dobson, um, 6'2", 250, uh, he's kind of a prototype defensive end. Look at all the interest he is gathering from uh, big programs. So you can kind of keep an eye on that. Like this guy here, Mark Locke, cornerback, he's got interest from Alabama and UCF. I'm guessing, I mean, he is from Valparaiso, Florida, which is pretty close to Orlando. So maybe that's why the Knights feel like they got a shot at him. But in real life, I would assume that, you know, Alabama is going to get the, you know, number one cornerback in the country over UCF. But we'll see how this game plays out. This guy, like this guy here, Michael Miller, five-star defensive end from Texas. He's got four teams who have offered him a scholarship. So, like I said, the, the recruiting gets pretty competitive pretty quickly. And if we go back to the schedule, not that schedule, the calendar um, in August, senior visit day is you know kind of what we're all angling for we want to get those visits scheduled so i'm going to go back to people who have high interest in me so we do have this offensive tackle oregon and nevada are looking at him so he's kind of an out west person he's from oklahoma we're going to make him an offer cornerback he's got a bunch of crap programs looking into him he's positioned rank 13 uh, seventh ranked in the state. I think I'm going to make him an offer too. We should be able to beat out Central Michigan and the Miami of Ohio Redhawks. Um, Notre Dame's the only program interested right now that I'm a little bit worried about. So we're going to make you an offer as well. Don't really know if we need a fullback, uh, center, tight end. We don't need any tight ends. And then we were looking at Dell Dickerson. I can see here Michigan has offered him a scholarship. I don't want to miss out on him. We need wide receivers. Whoa! Mr. Joe Uzquino. He has five schools interested. Michigan again. Mississippi State. South Florida. He's got some decent programs interested in him. He's only position ranked 27, um, but he is a four-star recruit. He is from Oklahoma. I'm going to make him an offer, too. We're just going to we're just going to blow up his world. He's he's a really popular dude. Same thing with this linebacker. Kansas, New Mexico State, Florida, and UCF both interested in him. I think that's very interesting considering he's from central Oklahoma. Let's make him an offer as well. So as you can see, you know, we let a, a couple weeks go by, kind of see where people shake out, see where the interest. I actually don't. Let's, let's check to see if any of the interest has changed. Is there any low interest players now? No. So I wonder if that's static. So medium is kind of, you know, the baseline, the low. So, oh, no, just kidding. So... Shelton is now at a medium interest. He was at a high interest, if you remember. That's why we targeted him um, right off the bat. So it looks like this interest can change dynamically over time. Has anyone's interest raised rose for us? Yes, this 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 prior guy was not here before. We'll put him on the watch list. Um, 
we'll put you on the watch list as well. No one's interested in him. A four-star center, position rank 13. Yeah, we'll make him an offer too. And then excellent. Um, still got this guy. So he actually raised um, in grade already. I don't know if that's because we're, we're keeping an eye on him. Um, so that's good. We already have him on our watch list. So anyone else you want to keep on the watch list here? Two star recruit, wide receiver. Probably don't want. Yeah, we probably don't want him. Two star punter, excellent interest. We will keep an eye on him just for funsies. And so currently we have 16 out of 30 recruits targeted. So it, it's it's fun. It's a decent recruiting system. I've definitely seen worse in games. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's not super invasive. There are not a ton of points to allocate every week. You don't have to call them every week. It's kind of just, you know, you can send out these flyers. Um, all these people I just offered a scholarship to, I am going to give them a call and see if they want a meeting. They should all say yes, I believe. Yes, um... Okay, and then over here, we so, hmm, that's interesting. So over here, you can make him an offer, but he's only a sophomore. Same with this punter. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, and if we look at our position overview, so we have two offers on offensive tackles. It says we need zero, but they're good tackles. Um, it says we need zero. Centers, two. Uh, so we need one wide receiver. We have offered two. We need... So who do we need? <sighs> who do we need to give positions to? Offensive guard and defensive end. So let's go back here. Offensive guard, interest, excellent. No good ones. Interest high. So we've got some three star. Ooh, he's got to offer some big schools. So we'll offer you, and whoa, a bunch of crap schools again, but they're getting in there. We'll, we'll offer him to try to steal Christopher Hughes out from under these lesser programs. Um, go back here. Sorry, I, I wasn't 100% planning on uh, doing this episode, but the screen of death popped up, and... I forgot to mention in the screen of death, one of the reasons why it is such called the screen of death is that um, there's no back button. There's no, you know, minimize the screen. It's not like a pop-up window button. Um, you can't go in and save the game uh, during the screen or before the screen. It just shows up and it just takes over the game. So I was already in the game. I couldn't exit out. So I wasn't, I didn't do my due diligence and my research for this, you know, mid midway recruiting episode but you know we're, we're gonna roll with it and lambast me in the comments if you will <sighs> i need two defensive ends and two offensive nope 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 sorry i need uh one more running back and two defensive ends so let's go back here so we'll go to defensive end interest we have no one with high interest one person with excellent interest He's kind of crap, and some people with medium interest. So, let's go to Oklahoma people that we might build. No Oklahoma people, just kidding. So, that is concerning here. Um, we'll, uh, I guess we'll offer you a scholarship, preferred walk-on. That's where I get you on, the, um, on my roster. That's a little concerning, so let's see some of these defensive ends, if there's anyone with minimal interest. Sanford's really going after the same players I'm going after. You only have interest in UConn. You're from Texas. Your position ranked four. That's crazy. We'll offer you a scholarship. Um, we should be able to beat him out over UConn, I would think. And then you have no interest, so you know what? We'll... Oh, that's because you're a sophomore. Just kidding. Let's see. Anyone else with minimal interest? You have minimal interest. Position ranked 11th. You're from Florida. Hernando, Florida. We will make you an offer. 
just to get some offers out there for defensive ends, and then we'll go back to our position overview. Um, needs. Uh, now we just need a running back. Let's just go in here. Do, 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 do. Running back. Okay. So that's what do we got? Anyone with high interest? Yes. Two, three stars. So who would we want? Sanford again, man. Sanford is targeting all the same people we're targeting, which I find very interesting. High school is Collinsville sixth grade center. <laughs> Uh, these auto generated stuff's kind of funny sometimes. So let's look let's look at between these two. So your position ranked forty two, your position ranked seventy three, you're five, seven, one eighty. That's kind of a prototypical running back. Same thing with you, you're a little on the small side. Um, but you are from Oklahoma. Both of you guys are from Oklahoma. So let's offer them let's give them both an offer. We'll see who's interested. Um, then if we go back to our position overview. So needs, um, all of our needs currently are met. So that means that the next batch of recruiting, um, the next six players is kind of at our discretion. As you can see, I don't know if you were paying too much attention, our recruiting budget is slowly going down as we recruit players um, and start you know, sending out these flyers and making these phone calls and stuff. Uh, it does affect the, uh, the budget there so let's schedule a meeting let's get all these people scheduled hopefully they all show up for senior day shelton barat batara still doesn't want to come and then let's uh, send to the next day all right time to schedule this year's preseason practices you're allowed to select 25 days click on any day number to select or deselect it another screen which is a little confusing um i'm guessing this is august august so so we'll so you have to click on the actual number so we'll do thursday friday we can have up to 25 days Saturday, we'll take Sunday as off. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Skip a Thursday for rest day. Um, again, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to this. Um, other than... And then right before the season starts, we'll practice all the way through there. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to this. I don't know if this is going to affect too much. Um, I don't know if I should just practice the whole month or what. Um, but we're just going to click done. And we're good to go. So we're about a month out from our next game. Um, sorry if this episode was a little bit all over the place. I wasn't expecting to, uh, to do it um, so quickly. But it's done now. Uh, our recruiting, I feel good about our recruiting. If we can get some of these people to um, accept some of these offers, I'll feel a little bit better about it. Um, there always is a chance in these games that you you know you, you give out all of your offers, you feel good, and then everyone stiffs you at the last second, and you're left with a really shitty, <clears throat> sorry, a really poor recruiting class. Uh, and that's always a bummer. So hopefully that's not happening to us. I feel decent though. And like I said at the end of last episode, um, next episode we will get into the game. So three episodes in, we've done a lot of recruiting, a lot of uh, roster overview. Um, next we are going to be doing the opening game against Buffalo. Um, so that's that. Thanks for tuning in. Um, again, sorry this episode was a little rambly, a little disorganized, but we had to get some of that preseason stuff done. And like I said, once it pops up on your screen, there's no way to get around it. So. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next episode for the opener against Buffalo.